Hi everyone, welcome back to Cultural Eats with Olivia. My name is Olivia and today I'm excited to take you with me as I review Seven Streets Cafe in Orlando, Florida. Seven Streets is a restaurant that claims they're serving classic Southern dishes with a modern twist. So let's go see what they have in store. Okay, we're here at Seven Streets Cafe and Bakery in the downtown Milk District of Orlando, Florida, and we're gonna be trying out their brunch menu today. The first thing I noticed about this restaurant is the attention to detail that they put on their appearance. Look at this cute sign that they have right before you even walk into the restaurant. This is the view when you first enter into the restaurant. It has a very open down home southern feel. They have the communal tables to give the illusion that you're sharing a meal with your family. They utilize old scrolls as their menu and bunt pans for decoration so you really feel like you're inside someone's home okay we are inside the restaurant and i ordered the seventh trimester biscuit so this is a homemade buttermilk biscuit topped with an over easy egg bacon and smothered in their homemade five cheese mac and cheese this sandwich was also topped with crushed up pieces of potato chips Honestly, I was a little underwhelmed by this sandwich. It wasn't bad by any means, but it was hard to eat, so you had to eat it with a fork and knife. And the bacon was super crispy, so it was kind of hard to get a piece of bacon in every single bite. The mac and cheese was also not the best that I've had. It was good mac and cheese, but if you're looking for like your grandma's baked mac and cheese, this isn't it. I also tried their homemade hash browns along with this classic chicken biscuit and homemade sauces to go along with it. I recommend this dish if you're not a very adventurous eater but you want just a really well done classic sandwich. If you're not that much of an adventurous eater, they also have regular sandwiches such as this Cuban alongside chips. Out of everything I tried, this Belgian waffle chicken sandwich with grits was my favorite thing. I'm not a big fan of waffles and syrup because I don't really like sweet food, but I have to say that this was the best waffle I ever had, and I later learned that it's actually shipped fresh from Belgium. <laughs> okay, the waffles... It's very moist, but it's a little on the soggy side because it's been sitting in the maple syrup. But the chicken is definitely the best. The fried chicken is perfectly crispy, as you can see. I'm definitely a tougher critic than most though because my entire family loved this meal out of everything we tried that day. As you can see, my mother is literally fighting me for a bite of it. The other half of the restaurant is a bakery. All of their baked goods are made fresh every single morning and they have a very wide variety of options to choose from. For dessert, we chose three options. We got their classic chocolate chip cookie to start. And then we also got the bourbon bacon moon pie, which was featured on Food Network and it's what they're famous for, so we had to try it. And finally, I asked the waitress to get me her favorite dessert and she chose this four layer piece of fudge for us. Here we have their freshly made chocolate chip cookie. It broke open so easily. And if you're a fan of soft fudgy cookies, I promise you're gonna love this one. They used the big chocolate chunks in it and cooked it till it was just finished. Okay, so here's the chocolate chip cookie. Really good. It's very soft and moist on the inside. And they used the big baker's chocolate chunks in it instead of the small mini cookies. It kind of has like that underdone cookie taste. So if you prefer your cookies thin and crispy, this isn't the one for you. Okay, next we're gonna try the famous bourbon bacon moon pie dipped in milk chocolate. I don't know the best way to eat this, if I should bite it or rip it in half. I think I'm gonna go for a bite. This is a very interesting taste. <laughs> so the top is graham cracker cookies. And the inside is a whipped marshmallow filling with the bourbon and the bacon. 
It tastes a little bit too much on the sweet side for me. I think I would like it without the chocolate dipping on top. You can see what the inside looks like. And I wish that the middle was set a little bit more. Okay, and for the last dessert that we're trying, we have this beautiful cookie dough fudge, which was recommended by the waitress to me. Look at that. How many layers is that? Four layers? I'm not even sure what every layer is. That is really good. Really good homemade fudge. My only complaint is this layer right here is peanut butter. And I'm not a big fan of peanut butter and chocolate mixed together. But I know that's a classic. So if you like that classic, you will love this. In conclusion, if you're ever in the downtown Orlando area, I definitely recommend checking out this restaurant. It was a new take on classic Southern dishes, and I truly enjoyed the hometown atmosphere that they gave off and the great customer service. The desserts were unlike anything else I had ever tried. And despite being a hard critic and not liking sweet food, I definitely did enjoy that Belgium waffle and chicken sandwich. Thank you guys so much for coming with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can come back next week for more content.